So, here it is guys, 6pm, uh, play a on Soul. I called it, man, I called it. They were blue balling us Soraka this whole time. But anyway, let's watch the video. The heavens diminish without wow. my attention. So beautiful. So, Aurelion Soul, 10 mana, 10 10, of course. Fury and Spell Shield. Wow, this already is a broken card by itself. But then there is more play, invoke a celestial card that costs 7 or more. Round star, create a random celestial card in hand. Level up round end, your allies have 20 plus total power. Wow, man, this card is insane. This is the definition of, uh, of value generation. Uh, because they already need two spells to remove this, uh, which is easily done by a ping, for example, a Wild Feast and then a, a Vengeance, but they still have to spend two cards. But th there is more, because when you play it, you actually generate one more card, which is a huge card. Because Celestial cards, which cost seven or more, we will take a look at them later, but, but that they are very, very good. So you basically have to spend three cards for just w this one card. And if you don't have the answer the turn this comes down, then it will start generating even more value every turn. So this is obviously a control uh, uh, strategy and, and a very powerful one. So then let's see Your when it levels up. Star. Let's continue the video. I created it. Wow. This okay, Th those uh, were already revealed. Okay, this is new. Uh, 6 mana, in Violus Vox, uh, Fury, uh, basically all dragons have Fury. When an ally with Fury kills an enemy for the first time each round, create a random dragon in hand. So, wow, this is uh, this is pretty insane. You want to go uh, in a dragon uh, heavy synergy for this card. Um, so I'm uh, like ex expecting uh, some kind of uh, synergies uh, between dragons uh, other than these. Uh, and definitely you want to go into a dragon deck uh, for a control dragon deck uh, with already on soul. But yeah, this seems like a, a nice card in that kind of archetype. By the way, the music and the voice is very, very good. Okay, you see the fury? Okay, the, the, this was already revealed. It's a celestial card. Wow. The level up. Yeah. The animation is insane. Run start, create a random celestial card in hand, your celestial cards cost zero. Oh my god. This is insane, man. Because there is also the celestial card which costs 10 that fills your hand with, uh, uh, with celestial cards and you can easily get that from the play effect because the, the 7 or more mana pool is, is pretty limited. And then if you get this uh, plus a radiant soul, then you basically can uh, put, play your wall hand at zero mana. So you basically, if you get this combo, uh, you play the Aurelion Soul on turn 10, then uh, turn uh, 11, basically the turn after you win the game. This is insane, man. But yeah, let, let's let's move on, let's continue. This seems broken. Okay, another Celestia. Yeah, so uh, a wall Celestial deck. What is this? this? 15 mana, uh, slow speed spell, deal 15 to all enemies, okay, basically a board wipe, costs less for each dragon or celestial ally you have. Okay, so this is not Behold, so you can't have them in hand, which seems fine. Basically, you can play it uh, if you have uh, at least 3 on board, because then this is discounted by 6 and uh, it costs 9 mana, uh, which is basically a um, like asymmetric uh, ruination, and this is, this is insane already. But you can discount it even more if you can, uh, if you have a full board. Uh, so basically, cheap. Uh, no, because they are not celestials. Okay, the, the the card which invoke are not celestial themselves, themselves. So you want to be heavy on dragon synergy to to basically win. If you have four on board, this comes down at turn seven, or even before, because you can uh, bank mana for it. So this com can come down at turn six or even uh, four. Uh, if you bank mana, but but then you have to have dragons, which seems a bit uh, uh, hard to do for that little cost. But yeah, this, this is insane, man. This is a control mid range deck, uh, which is very strong on mid range uh, because all the dragons are pre have pretty good bodies. But then on con on the late game, you dominate with uh, uh, a radiant soul as a finisher and on on all this stuff and celestials, which also are very very nice. But this seems like a very powerful deck. Let's see. Let's break! 
See you next time, Runeterra. Yeah, so that's it for the reveal. I will definitely craft him uh, as soon as the um, the, um, the the release of the, the expansion. Let's see if we have okay the image as well. Let's see if we have something more. We do. So there is the infinite mind splitter, eight mana, eight eight fury. Okay, all, all dragon seems to have that fury, uh, which is also nice to for the inviolus box. Um, then we have play, pick two enemies, run start, stun them. Okay, so basically removing them from the game unless you remove these. Seems like a solid effect, probably a bit too costly, uh, but, but we will see, we will see when, uh, when the expansion release if this card is actually viable. Then we have Star Shaping, 5 mana, Invoke a Celestial card that costs uh, 7 or more. Okay, so basically the, the Radon Soul play effect, which you see uh, is, uh, is basically 5 mana worth, uh, since this card is uh, like this. Then, then heal an alley or your nexus by five. Okay, this could be interesting. This second effect uh, because um, uh, with dragons uh, you basically we take trades uh, um, and uh, they will be damaged. So you, for example, you can reattack uh, with the fury activated, and then you can use this as a trick to basically give them more health, uh, basically like an elixir of iron or of some sort of stuff, and uh, they get more multiple furies uh, with this as a survivability tool. And also the, the most important part is that you get the Celestial card. So yeah, this seems okay, but maybe a bit, a bit too costly, we will see. Okay, this we already have seen. Uh, one mana burst sped, Messenger's Cheese Sigil, shuffle five the messengers into your deck. I, I don't think that we saw the, the messengers. Am I missing something here? I don't, I don't think that uh, they revealed already the messenger. Yeah, this, this was the video, it was not here. I, I guess. No, it was not here. By the way, the Dragon's Clutch also... Yeah, but anyway, I will do a, a more detailed video um, on, on the analysis of those cards, if they are meta-viable, as, as I've done already um, for all the champions. So yeah, let's call it... Uh, f that's it for this video. I uh, hope you liked it and find it useful, and as always, see ya!